Hello everybody, this is Mr. Stamkos and today I'm going to be reporting to you the new draft lottery changes that were approved today and whether I agree or not, let me grab the marker to write that down at the end. Um, so let's get right into it, this one's going to be a relatively shorter one. So anyways, the first change uh, that was made today is no team can win the lottery more than twice in a five year period, so for the... Oilers back in early 2010. 2010, they got first overall. They picked Taylor Hall. 2012, they got first overall. They picked Nail Yakupov. 2013, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. In 2015, Connor McDavid. That wouldn't slide. Um, after 2012, Ryan Nugent Hopkins would have gone somewhere else and Connor McDavid would have gone somewhere else. So just imagine this rule in place 10 years ago. Oilers would have been screwed. But yeah, so that's a good example, like, just, you can't, you can't win the lottery more than two times in a five-year period, um, which I agree with. I think that if, you know, you're getting too many first overall picks, it's a little bit ridiculous. You could, you could say that the team's tanking um, to get those players or whatnot, which usually isn't the case nowadays, but it certainly was 10 years ago where teams would tank a lot more. Um, obviously, to try to get a number one overall pick. Um, but yeah. Rule number two, only picks one and two are able to be moved into... Um, into. That's it. <laughs> I, I didn't see the period. But anyways, yeah. So, instead of having picks one, two, and three being the top three lottery selections... Basically, only picks one and two are on the table now. So, what will happen is if the first seed, so let's say Detroit from last year, moves down. They don't move down to four anymore. They now move down to three, which is a lot more team-friendly. I think that's a lot more reasonable. Um, and it kind of ties into what this team has, as well, what this rule has as well. But I agree that, yes, I don't think the first overall team should drop all the way down to four and get a kind of... Good prospect, but definitely not one who's going to make an immediate impact and, you know, someone who's going to come in the lineup in the next year or whatever. It's going to be a guy who you probably see who has potential, has that elite level potential, but is probably two or three years away. Perfect example, um, a guy like Philip Zadina, or no, that's not a good example. Well, it is because, you know, he's a guy who would have gone, you know, fourth overall or whatnot, but um, Detroit grabbed him at sixth. And he's in the NHL now, but he's still probably a year away from being a serious roster player. So I, I agree with this rule totally. And finally, um, the third rule that was introduced is teams cannot move up more than 10 spots. So, for example, if you have pick 11 or up, you can move into the number one overall spot. But if you have pick 16 and 12, you cannot move into the top uh, you cannot move into the lottery. So I don't know exactly if you have pick 16 and 12, if you can still move up those 10 spots and get like, let's say you have pick 16, if you can move up and you can get pick six or whatever. I don't think that's how it is. I think if you have 16 to 12, you are going to be stationary. You're not going to be moving at all, which, you know, may, may have teams in this range move their picks a little bit into the top 11 just just to have that chance at the lottery now because i think this ha brings a lot of kind of trade trade talk to the table where let's say you get the first overall pick and you've had um first overall picks in the last two years just just for example and you can't use that pick do you trade that pick away for a lot more value or do you keep it and move down to two or whatever it is you would be. So those are the three rules, and I'm going to write, do I agree? Um, and there's people who agree and people who don't agree on this, but do I agree? Hell yeah, I agree. I think that this is a lot better than the current lottery system. I think that all three of these rules are good. I think that the twice in five years is perfect because you don't want to load up too much on talent and you don't want to support tanking. 
This rule is perfect because now instead of moving down to number four, you can only move down to number three, which guarantees you a player who can probably step into the NHL right away. And this rule I totally agree with because it gives you less chance of getting a team like this who's on the fringe of the playoffs, you know, getting that huge star guy and just a team who really needs it, like Detroit, not getting that guy. And um, I, I do like, you know, a team like at 14 overall, Carolina moving up to the top three. I enjoy that kind of thing and them getting a great player and then being right back in that playoff spot. I think that's a good concept of things, but I think that it's a lot more reasonable to have these three rules in place. So, yeah, that's just my take on this, and I have another video, Minnesota Wild GM mode, coming up probably tomorrow, guys. Um, I am going to be posting this on Tuesday night, so Wednesday night. Get ready for that Minnesota Wild GM mode. And anyways, this is Mr. Stamkos. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.